three, two, exhale. Good job. Rebecca Wright, a personal trainer, and her husband Daniel first met on season eight of The Biggest Loser. They together lost almost 250 pounds. But in the last six years, they've gained almost all the weight back. Daniel and I have never given up since Loser. We've seen some pretty big downfalls. We've put weight back on, but we've never stopped being healthy. Wright participated in a recent study that helps explain why she and many other contestants have regained most of their weight. Two more. The more successful you are at losing weight, the slower your metabolism will be and the more hungry you'll be. Dr. Kevin Hall led the study. He's a senior investigator at the National Institutes of Health in Washington, and he says the findings show how hard the body fights back against weight loss. These uh, Biggest Loser folks, not only did they cut their calories, but they increased the amount of exercise that they're doing by an enormous amount. Hi. However, despite that, their metabolic rate slowed dramatically. Up. Press. On the metabolism side of things, your body is trying to slow down and resist further weight loss and uh, actually promote weight regain. And you're fighting against that at the same time as you're fighting against an increased appetite. Rip it across, yes! So it's a little bit of a double whammy. And what happens to most people is that they, they can't uh, keep up the fight against the slowing of metabolism and the increased appetite. And so they slip backwards. And it's like asking someone to hold their breath. You can do it for a little while. But, uh, but it's very difficult to do it for much longer than, you know, a minute or two. two. One. One. Okay. <laughs> so I think when you hear that you have a slower metabolism, you're a little disheartened. We're bombarded by messages that say, here are seven things you can do to boost your metabolism. Uh, I saw on the program at 4 p.m. today that if I eat this, I'll have a faster metabolism. It's this word that's been thrown around since I was I, as young as I can remember. I have to stop at Aldi and get wraps for burritos. So when you first hear you have a slow metabolism, you're a little disheartened because you're like, well, does that mean I'm set? What does this mean? Like, I'm just doomed. I'm never going to be able to lose weight. Does that mean you throw the towel in? No. I get to eat soon, Mia Moore. So now we know why this happens to us and why it's hard. So now it's like, oh, because someone, someone medically is saying, hey, it is hard. But it, the other answer is it's saying it's not impossible. There are people from the study who have maintained weight loss. So I think the point from the study is, oh, here's why I've been yo-yoing. So now what can I do to kind of design my life to not do that as much anymore? And this time doing it reasonably and doing it slower. So hopefully there's not this big swing that we saw after Biggest Loser.